Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me for this reboot of Now the Day is Over. I've decided to reboot these devotional videos and make them a little bit more adaptable. Adaptable for my lifestyle and perhaps even more adaptable for yours as well. Now the Day is Over served its purpose, offering daily devotionals in the middle of the pandemic. But now the need is different and so the format will be a little bit different as well. I've renamed this page from Now the Day is Over, which offered daily devotionals to At the Master's Feet. And the idea is, is that we're all striving to be followers of Jesus, and therefore we need and we should learn from the Lord. So I'm asking you, gather together with me. Let's study and meditate at the Master's Feet and learn from Him. These devotionals will be short and easy to follow, and I'll ask you some questions and perhaps even challenge you to learn and dig just a little bit deeper into God's Word. I hope that you'll make application in your own life as we sit at the Master's feet and learn from Jesus. So let's get started. You know, every follower of Jesus has a before and has an after, and sometimes the before is really terrible, and sometimes we struggle even making any improvements in the after. In the Bible, we read of several followers and how their before was not so great. Maybe a brash fisherman, a pious and fancy pants religious leader, a thieving tax collector, and a demon-possessed woman so insignificant that her before isn't even recorded, and so we have to guess of what it could have been. Yet God calls people in the before when they aren't even aware that they are simply broken versions of themselves. God calls people before He begins to transform them, before He is redeeming them, because He sees the potential in the after. He sees past the before to those He loves enough to call His own. Take the nation of Israel, for example. Isaiah prophesied over God's chosen nation and says in Isaiah 43 and verse 1, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. Now, this was said not during a time when Israel was obedient, but actually it was during a time of their rebellion, a time that was filled with idol worship and wandering hearts, and during a time when people just tolerated sin and were callous towards its wickedness a time when they had to deal with the consequences of their choices. Isaiah says this long before the people of Israel repented. And he goes on to say in verse 1, I have called you by name, you are mine. When Isaiah says these words, Israel is in open rebellion against God. But God did not turn away. He showed His mercy. He shows His loving kindness because it endures forever. He spoke His love over and over again to His chosen people, claiming them as His own before they even really agreed to be His. You see, God was present in the before. God speaks to us through His Word, and He has communicated His plan for our redemption right now in the before. He calls us by name, and our choices don't derail His. And what we see when we look in the mirror doesn't determine what God sees or the potential of what it can be. Even in our brokenness, God sees a plan for us. We are valuable to God, and therefore we have nothing to fear. So don't be afraid, even when you are not yet who you want to be. Don't be afraid, because God can redeem your choices and use them for good. Don't be afraid. God can heal your heart, heal your body, and heal the relationships that you have. Don't be afraid of who you were because who you're going to be is way better. Don't be afraid because this is only the beginning. Every follower of Jesus has a not so great before, but every follower of Jesus also has an after. The fisherman who becomes a preacher, the religious leader who becomes a personal friend of Jesus, and a tax man becoming a member of the 12 closest disciples and a recorder of Jesus' life and ministry. And then the insignificant woman who becomes the first person to see the resurrected Lord. Today, let's pray to God and let's thank Him for knowing our names and calling us even in our before. Thank Him for redeeming us and ask Him to help us through the challenges in our after. 
Before we get to a few questions that may challenge you, let me ask you to share this video to encourage others to join us as we learn at the Master's Feet. Now, let me ask you this. What parts of your before has God redeemed, which you are most thankful and most grateful for? And how does that idea of God calling you by name and saying that you are His impact you today? And then the final question, what do you fear? And how does this declaration that we read in Isaiah 43 and verse 1 affect your fear? Well, I hope that you're encouraged, and I hope that you are excited to keep learning at the Master's feet. God bless you. Have a good day.